Hello, this video is about using motion tracking and the way I'm going to do is I'm going to add some captions to this video and then use motion tracking to make sure the caption stays in place as the camera moves. This will be the starting point so I'm going to split right there and then press the letter M to make a marker there. You'll see how I use that later on. Now I want to play this in real time and see how long it takes to read two names. I am now reading name one. I am now reading name two. So it takes about that long. So I'll split the video here and add another marker for the end of, of the section. So this is the section right here that I'll be working with. I am going to add a caption for her and a caption for him. So I'll have two different captions. I'll right click here to insert a video track for her caption. I'll make sure that I'm here in the right place. That's where the marker comes in handy. I can just press the number one and it moves to the correct starting point. Titles and text, I'll double click here and get one of my default fonts that I like and type in her name. I will now place her name where I want it to stay. And I'll shorten this down to match the length of the selected video. I will now right click here, insert a video track. I'll hold down the control key, click and drag to duplicate that one. Then I will go in here and change it to Sam. I'll drag and drop this over here to put under his chair. So there are the names. I'll now play this to see how that looks. As you can see the names are moving around rather than staying directly where I place them. That's where a track motion is going to come in handy. I'm now going to prepare to add track motion. So I'll press the number one to go to the beginning of the selection and then you'll watch what happens. I need to select the video track but when I click here to select it now the cursor has moved in the away from the beginning so that's why it's so handy to hit the one again to go right back to the beginning. This is now selected so I'll press the alt key and then the M key is in motion tracking so I'll do alt M and here we have motion tracking. I'm adding it just to this selection only. So I will add a region and I want the, the precision to be balanced and the mode to be location. And now I will define the region. Now I'm going to click this button which says track one frame forward. So I'm at 248. If I track one frame forward, it goes to 249. And the reason I'm only doing one frame is because I'm checking to see if it can lock into the object I am trying to designate as a region and it seems to be locked in very well. So now I'll go ahead and say track forward to the end of the selection. So by clicking on this button here it tracked everything and it ended up at, at the end of the selection. Now I'll play it and see if this region really does stay locked in right there. 
And that's exactly what I want. So I'm very happy with that. Now it's time to transfer the motion from here to here so that they are all synchronized. I'll make sure that this is selected. Go to the beginning of the selection and use this little character right here called the Motion Track Transfer. I'm going to transfer it. Now you notice I got the um, uh, the symbol that indicates it's not going to work. Now we're I, you got to have this very precision before you click it. And I'm going to transfer it to cat and make sure you click location. Now let's test that. Do you see how hers is staying still and his is jumping around? So now I'm going to get my motion track transfer. And again, I clicked in the wrong place and I will put that on Sam and click location and then test that. Now Sam stays right in one place and Kate stays right in one place. And now when I close this, that should remove that marker. Sometimes it does and sometimes it does not. There it did. Now for the final test. That looks a little bit more professional. But there's one other thing that I can do to make it look even better. Let's select both of these by holding down the shift key while I click on them so that when I put my fade in, they're both exactly the same and fade out, they're both exactly the same. Now that's even more nicer. That's more better. And that's the way you do it. Thanks for watching.